The second question, my name is Yusuf, country Kuwait, profession accountant. My question is, what is the correct way or steps of asking Allah for forgiveness for both minor and major sins? As far as asking for forgiveness, there are mainly five points which are important. If you do a sin, especially a major sin, repenting to Allah is a must, otherwise the sin will not be forgiven. And there are five criteria for repentance to be accepted by Allah. The number one criteria is that you agree what you're doing is wrong. The sin that you're doing, agree it is wrong. Number two, you stop it immediately. Number three, you repent to Allah. You ask Allah for forgiveness. Number four, you do not commit it again. See to it, you never do it again. And number five, if you can undo it, for example, if you can repay, if you can compensate for it, for example, if you have stolen some goods from some person, then it's a duty that you have to return it. If there is no chance of undoing it, it's a different way. But if, you, if there is a chance or opportunity, if it can be undone, it should be undone. So basically, these five criteria are required for repentance to be accepted. Number one, agree it is wrong. Number two, you stop it immediately. Number three, you ask Allah for forgiveness. Number four, you do not repeat it again. And number five, if you can undo it or if you can give back the thing you have stolen or done some harm, if you can undo it, you should undo it. And there are various verses in the Quran and the Hadith talking about repentance and talking about that Allah is of forgiving in most of the world. There are umpteen number of verses and Hadith. I'll just quote a few. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 39, that those who have committed a crime, if they repent and they change their behavior and do righteous deed, Allah will forgive them. Allah is of forgiving, most merciful. This verse of the Quran is immediately after Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse 38, where Allah says, as to the thief, be it a man or a woman, chop off his hand. The next verse says that if they repent, and if they ask for forgiveness, then Allah is of forgiving, most merciful. Allah repeats the message in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 54. He says that, O oh, you who believe, if you do a sin in ignorance, you repent soon after that. Allah is of forgiving and most merciful. Allah says in Surah Tahrim, chapter number 66, verse number 8, that if the person sins, and he asks for forgiveness, you hope that your Lord, he will forgive you. And he will put you into garden, into Jannah, below, below which streams and rivers flow. <coughs> Allah says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 17 and 18, that Allah accepts the repentance of the person who does the sin in ignorance and repents Soon after that, Allah is of forgiving and most merciful. But Allah does not accept the repentance of a person who continuously does sin until the hour of death. And when the hour of death approaches, he says that, please forgive me. Allah will not accept the repentance. And those who die rejecting faith, for them, there is a severe punishment. Allah says in Surah Anfal, chapter number 8, Verse number 38, as for the unbelievers, if they go away from their unbelief, that means if they give up the kufr and they accept Islam, Allah will forgive all their past sins. That is the reason when a person accepts Islam, all his previous sins, however grave they are, they are washed away and Allah forgives them. And Allah says in Surah Azab chapter number 39, verse number 53, that tell to my servants that despair not the mercy of Allah. However much great sins you do, despair not the mercy of Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in several places that Allah is of forgiving and most merciful. And there are several hadith. Allah says that uh, Abu Lawid Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim in hadith number uh, 2759 that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives the sin at night of his servants who have sinned the whole day. 
and Allah forgives the sin in day of his servants who have sinned the whole night. The Prophet peace be upon him said in Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 758, that during the last one third of night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lower heaven. And there is one hour during the last one third of the night where Allah asks, is there anyone who wants his sin to be forgiven? Or does any of my servant want anything? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives the sin of his servant. So at the best time during the full day to ask for forgiveness or to do to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the last one third of night. And if you can in, in your Qiyam, in your Qiyamul Layl, in your Tahajjud Salah, if you ask Allah for forgiveness in your Sujood, that is the best time. So if you fulfill these five criteria of repentance, inshallah, Allah will forgive your sins.